Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Incredible Greek. Welcome back for another movie trailer reaction. So, we have The Conjuring 2 official trailer one. So, we had a teaser trailer. Uh, oh, God, how long ago was that now? About a few months back, I think. Two, two, three months ago. I can't remember now. But, yeah, Conjuring 2 starring uh, Patrick Wilson and Farah Fam Faminga. Let's say her last name. Sorry if I didn't say it properly, but uh, it's about it's based on the Epping, not Epping, uh, Enfield. Excuse me, en Enfield Hauntings, which is only about five miles where I live, literally, literally in that direction, about five miles in that direction, uh, where Enfield is. So it's going to be interesting. It's it's. This, this sequel is going to be extra interesting for me because it's based in England and, you know, it's just nice, you know? <laughs> but, um, I love the first film, absolutely love the first film, I thought it was great. Has had some of its good scary mo moments. James Wan, he, he's really uh, doing well with his uh, supernatural horror genres. But, um, I can't wait to see this as well. So. When we get on with it, guys, eh? Right, here we go. One, two, three, let's go. This is my home. Get out now. No, this is not your house. Now, what's your name? My name is Bill Wilkins, and I'm 72 years old. What? What do you make of that voice? Sounds confused. Do you see now? The voice on this tape is coming from an 11 year old girl. Oh, that's creepy now. Her that's creepy. England's Amityville. There is a family that desperately needs our help. After the true files of Ed and Lorraine Warren. There isn't much that rattles either of us anymore. But this one, this one still haunts me. Does it feel like the is voice it? is coming from inside you? More like it's coming from behind me. Like I'm being used. Janet, you alright? Stop calling me Janet. Oh. What's that wrong with her? An oppressing spirit will try to force she you to commit is. the ultimate sin. She is possessed. And what's that? She's got an evil Murder. force hanging on her shoulder. Suicide? Or both? Old man in the corner. Woo James Wan. Sensing a presence? I'm not sensing anything. All I can sense is their own fear. Ah! There's somebody in here! Help me! Ooh, nasty. Honey, you're bleeding. What is happening? I had a premonition of your death. Really? Hmm. Who's that? Another family's just a pawn. Something inhuman wants to kill you. If we keep doing this, you're going to die. Going in the mirror. Nice, very nice. Looks like a. What can I say? What can I say? What can I say? I tell you, it really surprised me at the beginning of the video where the trailer, excuse me, when um, you hear that voice, it does sound like a really old person. Or at least it sounded like it sounded like a middle-aged person trying to put on a scary voice. You know. I am 72 years old. Yeah, that's from a 11 year old, that's from a 11 year old girl. Wow, oh, she needs her throat cleaned there. <laughs> um, 
I don't know, like, I am looking, like I said, I am looking forward to this film. I just hope, I don't know why I'm getting this feeling. I keep getting the feeling they're gonna feel, that there's going to be, I don't know, like some corny bits in this. I don't know, I don't know. Like, I'm not trying to bash the film whatsoever because I'm really, looking, I really want to see this. But, um... No, the, the film does look like it has its scary moments, but I think it might have shown maybe one or two many um, things that happen in this uh, in this movie. But um, so yeah, the the movie's based in England. From what I've heard, it didn't say Enfield Hauntings in the trailer, but I heard it was based on the Enfield Hauntings. And uh, so it's this little girl. Why is it always little girls? Why is it always girls? That, that get haunted, or get possessed, or being cursed, or something like that. I don't know, is it, is it just creepy that it's a little girl? But, yeah, like I said, it's a little girl, something very evil is plaguing her, okay? Something evil has attached itself to her, because, uh, you know, obviously, she says... When she hears the voice, it yeah, sounds like it's coming from behind her. You see her on the setting, she starts talking, and it's a different voice. You know, like an old man's voice or something like that. Um, what is with the nun? What is with the, the weird, horrible, ghostly nun? I mean, she must have had something to do with the evil spirit or something like that. Because as, well, as far as I can see on the trailer... That nun just seems to be like one of the ghosts that warns you about stuff, you know. As you as you saw, I think you hear her say, "You're you know, you're going to die." Um, Lorraine Warren, she has a premonition that someone's going to die. Did she mean her husband? Was she talking to her husband? I can't I can't remember now. She has a premonition of her husband's death, or that's what it looks like. Because she wakes up and her nose is bleeding, and he's like, oh, what's the matter? But then it cuts off to another scene, but then you hear her say, I saw a premonition of your death. So what really, like, hooked me was is that Lorraine Warren has, a, like I said earlier, has a premon uh, premonition of her husband's death. And then later, and then a little bit along in the trailer, she says, the family that's, that's being haunted by this evil entity is just a pawn for the real plan. And this fa uh, this thing is using the family, like I said, as pawns to kill Ed. Ed Warren, I think. So, yeah, Lorraine, it makes sense. Lorraine Warren has a premonition of his death and she, then she says, whatever this thing is, it's using the family to get to her husband. So that's what it is. That's pretty much uh, pretty much that's pretty much the story I think. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, I'm looking forward to this. I know I've said this like three times in this in this now, but I am. Hopefully this film won't be bad. Hopefully it'll be uh, even like with the other one or maybe a little bit better, hopefully. But uh, I think I can tolerate it if it's a little worse. Okay, because the other, because the Conjuring was a good film, so if it's just a little worse, I can deal with that. But then again, some sequels to films are just pfft, some, they're just shit. Like what I thought, you know, you know the uh, what was it called? You know the Haunting in Connecticut. That had a sequel, didn't it? Haunting in Connecticut to uh, some other, I forgot what it's called, but I saw that movie. Did not like it. It was crap to me. To me, it was crap. Sorry if you liked it, but I thought it was crap. But anyway, thanks very much, guys, for stopping by, checking out this video, and listening to my opinions. And uh, don't forget to post a comment down below. What do you think? And I'll see you guys later on the next video. Bye.